Monte Melconian was born on November 25, 1957, in Visalia, California, to Charles and Zabel Melconian. Monte traveled the world during his youth, living in countries like Spain and Turkey. While in Turkey, he encountered one Armenian family there from the estimated 17,000 Armenian population before the genocide. He soon learned that the head of the household arranged his family's safety in return for identifying Armenians in the Turkish town during the genocide. He was never the same after that visit to Turkey. He returned to California in the 70s, where he graduated from UC Berkeley, majoring in ancient Asian history and archaeology. Monte spoke many languages including English, Armenian, Japanese, French, and Spanish. When he traveled to Iran to teach English, he also participated in the movements to overthrow the Shah. In the spring of 1980, Monte was recruited into the Armenian secret army for the liberation of Armenia or Asala for short. Monte trained Asala soldiers to carry out the Vaughn operation on September 21, 1981, where four Asala militants had taken over the Turkish embassy in Paris and held it for several days. In the early 90s, Monte Melkonian became the commander of Martuni, a village in Artsakh. He led groups of volunteer soldiers, commonly referred to as Fedais, in the ongoing fight for security of Artsakh and its people. In April of 1993, Melkonian was one of the chief military strategists who planned and led the operation to fight Taliban and Azeri fighters and capture the region of Kalbajar of Azerbaijan. Armenian forces captured the region in four days of heavy fighting, sustaining far fewer fatalities than the enemy. Monte's life was tragically cut short on June 12, 1993. A chance confrontation at an intersection in the abandoned Azeri village of Merzul between Monte, his crew of four, and hostile Azeris in an armored turret-mounted vehicle had occurred. The aftermath of heavy gunfire had left Monte with a fatal head wound. In his honor, the region of Martoni had been officially renamed Monte Aper, or Monte's Fortress. He had been given full military honors, and high-ranking political figures from France, Iran, Syria, Lebanon, Turkey, and France had attended his funeral in the officers' hall in Yerevan. He was a defender of his historically oppressed motherland from foreign invaders and showed that violence, terrorism, and fear will not break the spirit of the proud Armenian. Monte will go down in history as an educated, respected, patriotic, and courageous leader. Monte Melkonian, the commander of Monte.